Let's make lots of money. Hello and welcome back to the Blackford Book Club and the Essential Film Reviews Collection with Tetris from 2023. Being the admitted film snob that I am, and despite being as hooked and addicted to this game along with hundreds of millions of people all around the world, I was slightly hesitant in agreeing to watching this with my son recently and well, we're all allowed to be wrong sometimes. Any opportunity to watch a film with my son is always gratefully received, but I simply didn't believe this a based on true event story would be any good or indeed worthwhile of my taking any notes whatsoever, and so instead, and rather ironically, we played an old school card game whilst watching a film about an old school game that bridged the divide between East and West as the countdown to the impending Game of Wars began and the Cold War was supposedly coming to an end. Regardless, I won at cards, and my son won me over with his great choice of film. With a pun intended gaming license to stretch the real life truth for dramatic cinematic effect, Tetris became the game that addicted the world to handheld gaming devices, the Berlin War fell, the Soviet Union was no more, and finally, finally the Cold War between East and West was over. The rest, as they say, is history, but not quite. The Soviet Union may have been splintered into fractional pieces, but a hot war has long replaced the cold one before it, and not just since 2014 and the bloody feud that has caused a vast, vast loss of life in the border territory between Russia and Ukraine. War, as they say, is good for business. Even the Cold War that was petering out in the mid to late 1980s of hair metal, Europe and their final countdown, and the Pet Shop Boys at the height of their powers. Let's make lots of money. Indeed. All of which is brilliantly present in a really enjoyable slice of 1980s fun either side of the Iron Curtain, as our two main protagonists, Taron Egerton and Nikita Efremov, are joined by Toby Jones in a typically accomplished cameo role, and particularly Anthony Boyle and Roger Allen, who undertook the task of bringing to life the odious and despicable pairing of Kevin and Robert Maxwell. Whilst Allen portrays the barrel-sized garrulous and conspiratorial shadowy figure of Robert Maxwell, owner of the Mirror Group of newspapers at the time, Boyle is absolutely outstanding as his foul-mouthed and foul-tempered son Kevin in a film full of outstanding performances under the direction of John S. Baird, he of the highly enjoyable and highly recommended Filth in 2013 and especially Stan and Ollie in 2018. So from no notes taken and simply an excuse to watch a film with my son I didn't expect to enjoy, came a film I really liked as I beat him in an old school game of cards whilst watching an old school film with a history that reverberates throughout the known world to this very day. And that was Tetris from 2023, directed by John S. Baird. And I'll leave you in peace. And in solidarity, and against all wars. And I do sincerely thank you for watching. Peace, everyone.